Hey, and welcome back to I Got Something to Say, day 13 of, of the vlog. Um, thank you for allowing me to come in front of your eyes. Uh, wow, uh, what, 17 more days till 30. I appreciate everybody keeping in there and supporting me, so we're going to keep it rocking and rolling. So well, let's see what pissed me off for the day. <laughs> um, yeah, I wrote about today. Um, there's this guy, his name is Leroy Huazinga. And you, by, yeah, by look, by hearing that name, you would think African. No, he, he's a white dude. He's he's uh, he's uh, actually has uh, several BAs in theology and uh, and religion and things like that. There, and he's deep in the word and the scripture. And you know, if you know anything about me, I am not a religious man whatsoever. I'm I'm spiritual, but I'm not a religious man. But I can understand. I can understand the word just like anybody else. It just takes some understanding, uh, meaning some time to understand. It takes some. Uh, just a little bit of knowledge and just take you got to study it you got to study you got to open up your Bible and study anything else and I enjoy uh, reading about old, you know old stories and Old Testament look I'm talking about the Bible like it's some fictional ass book uh, I, I believe in God I, I'll put it like that I'm not I'm not I, don't, I cannot take that leap into being an atheist like a, some some of the gay community have done <clears throat> But I believe, but I believe, what, what is a, I forgot who said it, science and education for the win. And I believe that you have to use uh, nature and understanding uh, if you want to um, prove anything in this world, if you want to try to explain yourself in this world. Well, this dude, Leroy Huazinga, who, again, you can know a lot about, a lot about, about more him uh, in my column. Um, he wrote an article today um, talking about basically that Christian groups use religion to uh, as the basis of the reason why gay marriage is, does, does not work, it's not a good thing, it's bad and he's saying that's wrong you shouldn't be using the divine word of God, you should be using nature and uh, nature and reasoning as the, the primary force to prove why uh, gay marriage is wrong excuse me, so you know I, I have to admit I agree with some of the things that he said. Now, I'm 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 truly a major opponent of what he's of, of what he's disagreeing with. He disagrees with gay marriage and us having the rights that's due to us by the Constitution. He disagrees with that wholeheartedly. He just disagrees that um, church should not be using religion and say, hey, this is the word of God. And the word of God says that you should not be against, you should be against gay marriage because this is the word of God and this is what the word of God said. And that's the only thing you got to go on. So now you open up the book and here's the word of God, but he's saying no, uh, because this is this is just this is in the past and this this is this runs on faith. You have to have faith that what's in this book is what is true. Now what's in front of us in nature is real, and that's the reason that he wants to take. So he he even breaks it down in saying that um, uh, uh, that so the translation of the Son of Man or the Son of God, um, when he's talking about in the Holy Trinity, is talking about reasoning. So, Word of God means reasoning that you can't have reason and faith separate from each other. It's it's, it's truly it's truly a, a theist uh, a, a article at, at its best. And I and you can again go to my article to check out uh, what he's saying and to get the links to what he's saying. I might actually put it in the Gooch Bar too. So. Uh, it was really good. It was really good. And I agree with his standpoint that churches use religion to try to control the institution of marriage. No, 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 I want to be sure. He didn't say that a direct or make a direct connection between control and you know, between the church controlling people through marriage. He never said that. But it's only reasonable to believe to believe that that's part of it because throughout history when a culture wants to be overcame when a culture sorry when a culture is overcome or are taken by force they don't you know those who don't use war use other means which is attacking the foundation of that civilization through its relationships through its marriage through its children through its family so you know and I mean, now I'm not trying to say that religion is trying to attack. I'm not trying to say that Christian rights groups or churches are trying to attack. But they, but you know, even the Roman Catholic, even the Roman Roman, uh, the, sorry, the Catholic faith, tries to control uh, marriage. They even try to control sex. That's in their doctrines. It's in their pa papers that we have not the eyes to see at the Vatican. So um, it, it's true that religion is being used in this in this method. 
and that ultimately, if you if you cannot you can uh, you cannot separate the fact that controlling the family is controlling people in a nation in it by its very foundation. You can't you can't separate the two. It's been used so many times throughout whole history. It's not even funny. So I want to be sure that it, that you recognize that he never said that. But it's only the most reasonable and logical reasons, or the most logical reasons of why religion wants to take such a grab hold on to uh, on, uh, to to block us, block gay people, block the LGBTQ from getting the rights it deserves. When he when he even states that marriage was before church and state. So that was it was a really good article. I agree with some of those points. Okay, so now you have this dude, Brian um, Fisher, who is part of a group called the AFA, the uh, Association for Family, no, the Alliance of T Family Association, no, sorry, the American Family Association. And think about that, because he kind of pissed me off what he said, because he was, he, he, he was uh, making a comparison that, that the children of gay parents, n these children need a uh, underground railroad. So basically, that these, these these kids need to be rescued. So he was comparing Harriet Tubman, you know, like the Underground Railroad. He was comparing to having this that that to kids needing the same thing. They need to be rescued like they're slaves, like they're slaves to gay parents, and they need to be rescued with an underground tunnel, a secret passageway to rescue them. And I'm like, man, fuck you. <laughs> That's what I really wanted to say in the article, but I didn't say that. Um, this came after, uh, after um, you know, this what's this debate, or it's in the it's in the news about this one lesbian couple who kidnapped her child because the court said, now look, if you're trying to take these rights away from your partner, it was some, it was it was really complicated. But he basically, she basically kidnapped her child to Israel, in the Middle East, and then came and then uh, to to keep the courts from from giving the rights of her child to her the lesbian uh to her, her lesbian lover or ex at the time because they say now there was there was accusations of this this lesbian I, I wish I shouldn't say this lesbian of of the of her um molesting the child. Now I don't know if that is all true or not. But you know but he took it to the full out extent talking about oh well yeah this is what uh normally happens in in a in a family, you know you Lesbians or they or whatever adopt a child or gay people kid they, gay parents adopt a child and you gotta expect some sort of sexual abuse or some sort sort of hardship from uh, straight kids or straight adopted kids or kids of any point being being raised by gay parents so there's more hardship and that's his whole reasoning and you know so they need to be rescued from the hardship and I'm thinking to myself well, who's gonna play Harriet Tubman you. Yo, big white fat ass gonna play Harriet Tubman. <laughs> I just want to say that so bad because what gives you the right to come up and say these kids need to be rescued? Every family is gonna go through a problem. And all kids are gonna have a fucking problem, man. And and yes, I mean from the out start because of their biological parents already gave them up once. So there there there's your main surface of problems right there. There's a big surface of problems. I mean, they gave them up. So now they have to adapt to a new way. Here's the word adoption. And I mean, yes, gay parents are gay parents. They're not the these quote unquote traditional average family. But who, but who, but who grades average? As long as those kids getting the love and the support that they can possibly get, getting the home that they have not known. Well, who are you to come up somebody these kids need to be rescued? Why are you comparing them to black slaves? No, and I, before I and before I get all sorts of beep beeps and all sorts of tweets and bullshit, no, he did not say that they were they are slaves that need to be rescued. But that was the only people who needed underground railroad was black slaves trying to get away from a cruel master. Come on, dude, let's be real about this bullshit. So those are the things that really pissed me off. I, I mean. I mean, I mean, we got to understand something in this world that everything is not going to be perfect, especially when it comes to gay marriage, the fam the gay family, and adoption, which is all part of the gay family. But you do the best you can. 
See, that's why I'm glad to be black, because black people know about doing the best you You do what you got to do at the time you got to do it. You stay the family, and you do the best you can. Those are one, two, three most important things about being in a black family that keep us together. And I, and this one thing, the three most important things that's going to be important about keeping a gay family together. You do what you, you, do what you can, at the, at, or you do what you have to do at the time you have to do it. You support each other. You might argue and fight, but you support each other. And then number three, you, you keep to the family. You keep to it. Do the best you can at the time you can do it, and you just keep to you keep to you keep your eye on the prize, which is staying together and and overcoming whatever obstacles that you have to overcome. And and that's something the gay the gay uh, community is going to have to learn. Uh, um, and, and if we're going to keep uh, keep up the strength of the of gay families and keep up the fight for gay families, so those are the things that I want to talk about. Uh, you'll see those things in the goose bar. If you have any comments, subscribe. Do you do? You know how it goes. And as always, uh, stay stay with me. Keep it down. I think I've said all that I had to say. So peace the fuck out.